Hello everyone. In this video, I want to talk a little bit about LTE, loss of tail rotor effectiveness. So what's this all about? Well, obviously it sounds like a bad thing. We don't want to have a loss of our ability to use our tail rotor to affect our path of flight. Now, if you're a helicopter pilot, you will learn that you should always know where the wind is coming from, especially when you're low to the ground. And why is that? Well, the reason for that is there is a chunk of that circle where you can get LTE, this loss of tail rotor effectiveness. Now, there are three main effects that we talk about that can cause this. And one of them is vortex ring state in the tail rotor. So you're like, well, what is that? So vortex ring state is what happens when the turbulent wake, if you will, from the tail rotor, which is located on the left of this aircraft, gets blown into the tail rotor. So that's obviously not a great thing. So you have air getting blown into your tail rotor. So all that lovely turbulence that you generated is getting pushed back into that tail rotor and it's making a lot less effective. So that is pretty much something that can happen if you have a wind blowing from your left. So how else can we have this problem? Well, there's a couple other situations that can cause this. Now, if the wind is a left quartering headwind, now I can get LTE because what happens is that turbulent airflow from my main rotor is getting blown into my tail rotor. And that's going to cause me to have some problems. That's going to cause my tail rotor to not work as well as I want it to. So that's the second thing that can cause loss of tail rotor effectiveness. So again, that is a left quartering headwind. Alright, what else could cause this kind of an issue? Another thing that can cause that issue is a tailwind. If I have the wind coming from behind me, the helicopter is going to try to weathercock. So what does that mean? Well, you've all seen weather vanes, and you know that a weather vane will try to point itself into the wind. Well, the helicopter will also try to point itself into the wind. You look at the tail and how that's set up, and you know, there's usually some sort of a vertical stabilizer as well, and that is going to cause this issue where it's gonna to try to whip around 180 degrees. So, there are lots of ways that your tail rotor can become less effective. Now, what can you do about it? You might notice that the only place where you can't really get this is if you have a right quartering headwind. Now, if possible, you know, if you've taken off and you have to 
take off with some sort of crosswind. Obviously, the right quartering headwind is preferred over the left quartering headwind, if you can do it. Uh, you know, sometimes you can't. Sometimes you can't take off in the wind. And sometimes you're restricted to actually taking off and landing on a runway. You can be treated like an airplane. And if you fly helicopters very long, you'll realize that happens a lot. In many ways, helicopters are kind of second-class citizens. They're trying to fit you into the fixed-wing world just because that's what they do. You to approach runways instead of your actual destination. You, know, you end up taxiing on taxiways when you know maybe you could have just gone straight to the ramp. And maybe not. It depends on the situation. Okay, so those are three things that can cause LTE. Uh, another thing, it's not really talked about much. If you have a high density altitude. You're high, hot, and humid, then that is going to decrease the performance of the helicopter in general, and that would include decreasing the performance of the tail rotor. So you can get LTE at altitude as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a little bit of an exercise here. And as usual, I am flying with actual wind conditions. Uh, currently, the winds are kind of mild for Mount Pocono. The winds are only nine knots, and they're steady out of the heading of 290. Yesterday, the winds were, you know, pretty wild here. But today, not so bad. Of course it is 300 overcast here so it seems like a good day to do a little ground practice so let me go ahead and i'm gonna lift off here so i'm gonna throttle up Try to fly a nice little circle around this windsock. Pick it up. 